the war between the Autobots and the Decepticons rages on as they struggle to retrieve the prized Minicons. The side who wins is the side that collects the most. And if the Decepticons prove victorious, then Megatron and his corrupt Minicons control the universe. The Earth's only chance for a peaceful cosmos is for Optimus Prime and the Autobots to destroy their enemy. Now, get ready for a new battle. Transformers. What? The Skyboom Shield? I'll cut it into pieces! Give it to me, Optimus! Never! Okay, sure, the Star Saber and the Skyboom Shield could cause some serious damage in the wrong hands. But the big mystery was, where did these weapons come from? And why were the Autobots being so secretive about it? How come? Yeah, how come we can't come to the base? You gotta give us a reason, Hotshot! Sorry, that's the way it's gotta be. Uh, you can't stop me again! It's a direct order from Optimus. I cannot let you pass. No way! Optimus would never give an order like that! Blur is right. Now please do as you're told, Carlos. This could get dangerous. Transformers. Attention! All Minicons will now fight by my side. You will obey only Megatron or suffer the consequences. You understand? Hurry up. You're too slow. Get in formation. Time to program the battle sequence. I'll switch into full blast mode while you minicons distract the enemy's attention. Then I'll strike with a star saber. Ready? Commence combat simulation on my mark! Ah, full blast mode! That's just to remind you there'll be other Autobots in the area, sir. Just stay out of this! Minicons! Your duty is to disrupt the enemy's communications. Do you understand me? Hotshot and Blur will lead this defensive formation. Smokescreen will remain in the rear. And before we engage the Decepticons in combat, he will pass the Sky Boom Shield for Why Smokescreen? Because Smokescreen will have the best view of the action, and his long arm launcher makes him best suited to carry the Sky Boom Shield. Good plan. And if necessary, the shield can be passed to Scavenger or Red Alert. That's great! Then any one of us can use the Sky Boom Shield at any time! But remember, without Smokescreen, this formation won't work at all, Hotshot. Hey, pal. I know. Chill out. Don't worry about me. I got it. I mean, I'll be there. Don't worry. Hey, we're counting on you. We don't want the Decepticons to get the upper hand, Smokescreen. <sighs> this could get very complicated. We don't understand the full power of the Skyboom Shield yet, but I want to make sure you're aware of the dangers when it's used against the Star Saber. We can't afford mistakes. Right! right. <laughs> what is it, Sure Shock? We're trying to have a meeting here. Uh, translation, please? I think he wants to know why they're not coming with us, sir. I'm afraid this mission is too risky. So we're not allowed to go near the Autobots till they figure out what's up with that sword and shield? Optimus is just uptight. Oh, man, it's not fair. What a ripoff. He knows what's best. I mean, we all know how powerful the Star Saber and the Sky Boom Shield are. I think another battle at the Astrogate would be a pretty scary thing to watch anyway. I guess. But we should do something. I really don't like sitting on the sidelines like this. After all, I am a man of action, you know. Let's have something to eat. That'll take our mind off our troubles. The fate of the world is at stake, and all you think about huh? is food. Huh? Huh? Hi, guys. Hey, what's going? 
<laughs> Sneaky, you followed us all the way from the base. <sighs> Maybe they got kicked out too. I'm sure they just got lonely back there, that's all. <laughs> I say this calls for a sandwich. No. Something's not right. Sure Shock says he's intercepted a strange signal. What? He says it's a message from the Decepticon Minicons on the moon. No way! Huh? Why would the Minicons on the moon be sending a message to these guys down here? Hey, maybe... They just want to talk! Yeah, I'm sure that's it. They're lonely, right? No, wait! Fred's right! Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe the Minicons on the moon want to join up with their friends down here on the Earth. So you think those Minicons are worried about these guys? Yeah, they want peace. Do you think so? Yeah, it all makes sense now. Don't you remember the Minicons that formed the Skyboom Shield? They tried to protect Sparkplug when Optimus and Megatron were battling last time. So up on the moon, the Minicons might be under Megatron's control, but I bet they want no part of the war that the Decepticons are trying to start. Good. So I assume you made contact with the Minicons on Earth. So if all goes according to plan, we'll at least get some use out of them. Hey, are you sure the Warp Gate is up here? Positive, Carlos. Warp Gate? Then what? Wait, we should tell Optimus. Go get him, Red. We'll wait for you. Let's go, Fred. Come on. Okay, but can we stop for lunch? I'm starving. I'll act as a decoy and draw the Autobots through the warp gates and split them up. Once they're separated, I'll contact you. Until then, you will remain on standby. Yes, of course, Megatron. <laughs> so for once, Megatron is going to do some work. <laughs> And just think, we'll get the Skyboom shield as well. Sure, if his plan works. <laughs> yoo -hoo! Come on, is anybody home? Hey, open up! Says me! It's not working. Oh, hold on. Optimus, it's rad. Sorry to bother you, but the Decepticons Minicons are on their way to Earth. <laughs> Are you saying that you intercepted the enemy signal? Enemy? Huh? Uh, no, we're talking about the Minicons. That explains why Sparkplug was acting up. We'll have to get to that warp gate on the double. I don't think you understand what we're saying. We're gonna take care of this. You two stay here where it's safe. Uh huh? But what about Alexis and the others? Uh, are you sure we went the right way? Sure Shock says this is the place? <gasps> Look! Then where's the warp gate? Whoa! What? Hey guys, what was that? Don't move! Ah! All of you, go back the way you came, now! Huh? Come, this way. Get back to the base immediately! Hey, what's the big deal? He's gone. Oh, well, there's nothing to be afraid of. Look, I'll even prove it. Fred! Rad! Ah! No, wait! Optimus! Ah! Hey, wait! Don't leave us here alone! Huh? Hey! You! What warp gate did Megatron go through again? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's too much noise on the signal right now. What noise? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one of the Minicons is messing with us. How can you laugh? This is not a joke. We've all got to adjust our equipment right now. Huh? <clears throat> Why are you all just standing there? Get going! We've got to make sure Megatron gets back to the base! Go on! Get to work! Sure. Whatever. Yeah, we'll give it our best shot. <sighs> well, then start moving on the double! Ah, oh, darn, 
I can't make contact with Laserbeak at all. Hmm. Optimus, no. Transformers. Transformers. Don't know. Hey, Fred, are you all right? Yeah. Ah, oh, me! Ah, they're shooting at us. I know that. Promise you won't leave me. Megatron. What's he up to? I want my mommy. Let's move out. They left without us. I know. That's not the plan. How am I supposed to pass the Sky Boom shield to them? Optimus! Huh? Huh? Can you hear me, Optimus? Can you hear me, Optimus? Can you hear me, Optimus? <laughs> Didn't I tell you it wasn't safe for you two to come with me? Then let's go home! It's too late now. We're sorry, Optimus. We just thought that we could convince some of the Minicons on the Decepticon side to help end all this fighting. I understand. I just know we can get some of those Minicons to join us good guys. It may be difficult to get them on our side. Megatron has a strong grip on them. But why is that? Believe it or not, they look up to Megatron. It may sound strange, but they think of him as kind of a father figure. No way! I know those Minicons don't want to fight! I'm sure they want peace just like everybody else! They have to! Uh, Fred? I know you don't like it, but this is the way it has to be. The Minicons that are on the Decepticon side are with our enemies. If we back down, we'll lose everything. But all you've been doing is fighting for years! There has to be a way for you to get along somehow! <sighs> oh, not again! <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, Optimus Prime. As you wish. Huh? Huh? Ah. Now, let's complete the plan. Don't even think about deserting me. Ha <laughs> ha! You'd better drop those foolish ideas from your databanks, or I'll use the Star Saber to slice each one of you in half. As long as you remember that, we'll get along just fine. <laughs> Megatron has done it! What do you mean? This is all part of the plan. He's divided the Autobots and now intends on conquering us. No way! Look over there. Megatron already has his Minicon troops in place. Wow! It was a trap! I'm afraid you're right, Fred. He's got us! We're doomed for sure and I still haven't had my lunch! Attack! Go on! I gave you an order to attack them! Optimus! Take the fire on those minicons! They're trying to do They're me not! Out there. There's no way they would try to do something like that on their own! Optimus, please listen to me! Huh? I know it's hard for you to believe, but those Minicons really don't want to fight you! They sent us a message! They're on the level! They want peace! Honest! You gotta trust me! <sighs> Please, Optimus? I want you two to run for it when I give you the signal. This has to stop! Yeah, wake up! Go! Now! <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Optimus! Uh. 
protect us. Why does he have to do it this way? Oh no, he won't stop. I don't know if Fred and Rat are right, but this is the only way I'm going to know if I can trust these minicons. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Optimus Prime? Are you going to sacrifice yourself on the Star Saber? I never ordered you to stop the attack, did I? Fire until he's buried in the ground. <laughs> what a joke. You're still refusing to shoot back at these pathetic miniguns. You know what your problem is, Optimus. You're soft. Good riddance. Optimus believes what we said about those minicons. Come on, hang in there, Fred. We were wrong, and Optimus can't take much more of that missile fire. They won't let up on him. It's not over yet. What is it? Oh, you want me to finish him off? You've learned a lot from me. Well, I suspect this will be the perfect ending to a perfect day. Hey, Optimus! Come in, Rad. Huh? Alexis? Finally, I got through. Something or someone has been jamming our communications all day. Listen up! Optimus is in big trouble! They so need our help. What is it, Alexis? I finally locked into Megatron's signal. Goody! Then it's time to go bash some Autobots! No, we're supposed to wait here until we get the order to move out. Don't listen to Megatron! You don't have to fight anymore! Can't you think of anything better to say for your last words? All right, then I'll finish you up quickly so I don't have to listen to any more of your pathetic speeches. What is this? That's it! What? Huh? All right! They did it! The Minicons are gonna save Optimus! Ah, uh, didn't I tell you, Fred? How dare you! Oh no! He's got the Star Saber! Hey look, it's the Autobots! Coming through! Grand Bull! Smokescreen! Use that Sky Boom shield! I got you now! Megatron, sir, are you alright? I'm sorry it took so long to repair our transmission equipment. Oh. Thanks to you. You mean you believed what we said the whole time? I wouldn't be much of a leader if I didn't listen to the advice of some of my most trusted friends now, would I? Really? <laughs> That's great, but does this mean that we're a team again, guys? It sure does, now that the mystery is solved. What? When the Sky Boom Shield and the Star Saber slammed into each other, an incredible amount of energy was released. I know now that it was the screams of the Minicons who had been forced to fight a battle they didn't want to fight. Those poor Minicons! The Minicons sacrificed themselves. Now we must liberate them all. <sighs> I agree, and we'll need everyone in this room's help to do it. And that includes you kids as well. Mm-hmm. Please understand, we never want to leave you kids out of anything. We just worry about your safety. We'll need your help if you're still willing to help us. Sure, we'll do anything to help out a friend. So it's the silent strength of the Minicons that give the Star Saber and the Sky Boom Shield their awesome power. And under the control of someone like Megatron, they have no choice but to do his bidding. Well, that's gonna change, because my friends and I are gonna make sure the Minicons get to live in peace like they deserve. And with the Autobots on our side, that should be no problem. Transformers.